produce more, better, together and in Europe. That's the aim of the first industrial defence strategy proposed by the European Commission on Tuesday. The aim is to provide a long-term vision to develop military capabilities as quickly as possible and to move away from emergency responses in the face of conflict. Some of the main points of the strategy include joint equipment purchases between member states to reduce costs and to harmonise defence equipment and systems. We propose to achieve the goal by 2030 to procure 40% of equipment in a collaborative manner and to procure 50% of equipment within the European Union. The Commission is also proposing a 1.5 billion euro fund for the defence industry to be dispersed over two years. It will ease the access to finance for small and medium-sized companies involved in the development of military equipment. It also provides a framework for launching joint defence projects or responding to future supply crises. The Commission wants the EU to be able to react to conflict, but some say the Commission needs to slow down. Clairement, si la question est, sommes-nous dans une économie de guerre avec ce, ce, ce programme, avec cette stratégie Clairement, non, nous n'y sommes pas encore. Mais c'est un premier pas qui est nécessaire pour, je dirais, amener tout doucement les États à se rendre compte qu'une démarche européenne dans la matière est nécessaire, et voire même indispensable. The first step appears to be less ambitious financially than discussions have suggested in recent months. To free up additional resources, the Commission is not ruling out the possibility of using windfall profits from frozen Russian assets to finance the Union's defence industrial capabilities. But this would require the unanimous agreement of all 27 member states.